Hello everyone. Here is a simple movement practice for pregnancy. Remember novelty is the key. Hold the postures for as long as you feel comfortable and repeat them as often as you like as well. First movement is a hip rotator stretch. You push the knee down and you lean forward a little bit. Keep the chest up. Take a deep breath in and then repeat on the other side. We're going to go right into a trunk rotation. These are two really good movements for when you're sitting as in office work or on the computer. Rotation's key. And we're going to go into side lying. And <clears throat> Joyce is going to reach her arm back, right arm back to the side to open up her chest and shoulder. And she's breathing through her right rib cage. So you want to focus your, your breath in that direction. Come back and repeat on the other side. Into the hands and knees position. She's going to start with the cat camel. Drops the belly down to the floor. Raises the belly up, belly button up toward her spine. This is the proverbial primordial uh, rocking chair for your baby. They love this movement. And then from here, we're going to go right into doing a forward rocking movement. This helps you seat the shoulder joints. You can go as far forward as you like. Um, these are very simple, gentle movements to begin with. You can even take your bottom back towards your heels to drop into a child's pose. And then we're going to move to a little bit of gentle strengthening of your core, the center of your body here, holding a functional position in your back. Joyce is just lifting one arm up at a time and keeping your eyes gazing down to the floor. And then she moves to just advancing one leg out and then back in and repeating on the other side. There's a little bit of a trunk twist, but not too much. Your focus is to kick that heel straight back behind you. Again, notice her spine position is relatively functional or what some would call neutral posture. Uh, and eyes are gazing to the floor. And then she's going to go ahead and advance it to doing opposite arm and opposite leg. She makes it look really easy. Imagine if you're carrying an extra 25 or 30 pounds in the front of you there or in your body that can be a little bit challenging. It throws your balance off. And if you notice she's, she's having to readjust, very important that you do this because it's really about getting perfect reps. And she takes her time. She gets set and then she focuses on the movement and, and keeps her stability in check. Yeah, beautiful. Good exercise. And then she's going to move from there into a sideline position. So on your knees and on your elbows and just lifting the hips up to the ceiling and then separating your knee just a little bit. I like this form. You know, just four or five reps a couple times a day or once a day is great. You just want to feel good. And she advances it out to legs are straight now on her elbows. A little bit of side bend, not too much. We like a little bit to happen there. You get a little lengthening on her right trunk there. Beautifully done, Joyce. By the way, her son's name is James. Beautiful young boy. And she goes right into the Jane Fonda move of the 80s of the hip work. And this is just side lying 
abduction. Very easy movement practice. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Happy healing.